Sunday dinner. Shoulder pork roast roll. Okay, this is pork shoulder roast that I baked on Sunday along with a Yukon gold potato and a sweet potato. And today, we're going to fry these up, get it kind of crispy, and these guys here, I'm going to put them in my KitchenAid little guy, which is right here. I'm going to whiz them around a little bit, warm them up there and make mashed potato type thing. I'm not really sure how this is all going to pan out. I got something going on in my head. Hey, we'll just see how it turns out. See you later. Okay, all chunked up. Now we're gonna whiz. See what happens. If I could do this with cream cheese, but sour cream looks like just about big tablespoon. Reality is probably about two tablespoons. garlic right now thinking that that might go pretty good in there could even do horseradish I reckon but I'm low on horseradish yeah okay. now it needs to have a little bit Pour it right in there. Well, that's creamy. How about we do this?
I think that that last potato got chopped up. You know, it's cute when people do chef stuff and then they go, Oh, but my finger, I used my finger and it was like the cleanest finger ever. Like, what, did you bake or cook with dirty freaking fingers? Goodness sakes. Or they got gloves on. They're all paranoid about getting stuff on their fingers, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that looks really good. That's a mix of one sweet potato and one Yukon Gold with some sour cream, garlic, and that's it. Mm. That tasted really good too. Give it a little flavor. Slip the little drawer. Look at all oh, those goodies. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt on here. Taste it. Ouch. Oh, I dropped them on the floor. Yeah. Ouch. Right there. Mike to the rescue! It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Just put it in the trash. Yeah, there's, hair. yeah, there's probably hair. Who knows what else? Now, in a separate skillet. Drop some olive oil in there. like I'm frying these potatoes. Oh, there's one that didn't get chopped up. Pork is over here. That's there. And I have leftover coleslaw that we're going to eat. Really 
really good. One little thing, we'll pause that. After eating our delicious fried pork sweet potato Yukon goes mash goes off. We are under the total not impression, but under the total the coleslaw made the whole meal. That coleslaw we used uh, red wine vinegar no uh, apple cider vinegar, horseradish grainy mustard that we got from up in Three Oaks and Dryers, some local honey, and uh, I think some oil, maybe olive oil. That was it. I didn't put any celery seed or anything in that dressing. But that coleslaw, we had white cabbage and red cabbage. <laughs> and um, That vinegar and everything. It's like... Oh, we put a carrot in there too. Remember, you shredded up the carrot? Yeah. And then you shredded uh, some, uh, we had some bell peppers in there. Little bell, organic bell peppers. Man, that was really, really good. Oh, look, this looks so much better when I hold it up like that. Compared to this. Yeah. Oh, look, you can see the kitchen back there behind us. All of our goodies. So anyways, this is the end of this video that I have put together. But that was some amazing food, and I'm so glad I recorded it. Because if I can make this again, I'm going to make it again. Oh, yeah. 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 That coleslaw and that pork with, that was, I fried up in olive oil with a little bit of the taco seasoning. Not much, just a, a back hint of it. And then that... Just give me chills, you know. That mash about the... Sweet potato and the Yukon gold with the sour cream and the the garlic, mm. the fresh garlic. Yeah. Man. That was delicious. <sighs> delicious.